Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to take your iPhone to a whole new level by using this amazing setup that you can create easily on the home screen of your iPhone. Even though this seems very, very different, of course, from the standard layout that you get on the home screen, it's actually not that hard to create. You can create this in a couple of minutes and have a really nice looking home screen for your iPhone, as well as a very functional home screen where you can find easily anything that you need on your iPhone. So we have a few different things here, but we're gonna start off with this widget right there, the Apple Vision Pro widget. It looks really amazing. Now, the way to add this to your home screen, first of all, you will need to download an app called Widget. I will leave it linked right down below in the description of the video, and everything else that you will need for this setup will be linked right down below in the description of the video. So first of all, you install Widget. I will leave the link to the widget as well. Once you have installed the app, you go ahead and tap on that link and it allows you to install this widget on the app. Now from there, all you have to do is of course, just add the widget to the home screen. But before you do that, you will need to add the wallpaper that you have currently on your home screen so that you get the tr this transparent look on the widget. Now, if you want to have this wallpaper that I have here, of course, this will be linked also down below in the description. So it's an all black wallpaper with this highlighted dock, which looks pretty cool. So once you have all this set up, what you need to do is head onto your home screen, go to the edit mode, swipe here where there are no apps, just the dock and take a screenshot of the home screen. Now you can go into widget. And once you're in widget, what you need to do is go here to manage and go to set up transparency and right here, load the screenshot that you just took, tap the button right there so that you get this amazing transparent look on the home screen of your device. You can see how cool that it, this is. It looks pretty cool, but it's also very functional. You will get the date here. We'll have the events right there in the middle. Then you will have the current weather, the battery percentage here and the time right there at the top. It looks really, really awesome. Now, the next thing we have here is another widget, which allows to have four different docks on the home screen of your device. So there we have four icons on the second one, another four, then another four and another four. And of course, this is functional. You can open any of these apps directly from here. Now to add this, you will need to install another app that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video It's this app right here, go into the app and right here, you will find the widget. There it is. It says icon launcher. You tap on it. All you have to do here is customize it. If you want to, you can just go ahead and tap here on background where it says background. You tap on that transparent button, change wallpaper, and just again, add the screenshot you have taken before for widget. So you have that amazing look on the home screen, the transparent look. Now from here, you can also customize the icon. You can see the buttons there. You can change their color if you want to. You can change the group name. So you can see the numbers here. You can go ahead and change that to anything you want. As easy as that. And of course, you can also change the app. So if I tap on one app right there, it will show me a list of apps from where I can choose whichever app I want to have on that dock and not just have the apps that are preset. Once you're done with that, you tap the save button and you're good to go. You go to the home screen, you add the, the medium widget from this app and then tap and hold on it, tap on edit widget. And from here where it says current widget, you just pick the widget you just saved and then transparent position, choose the position. In this case, we have it on the bottom and we're good to go. Now we have that amazing look here and of course, very functional as we have four new docs on the home screen of our device. And the next thing that we have here on the home screen is the dock. Now, in this case, we have something else, not apps. We have these toggles. You can see I have Wi-Fi turned on right there. You know, on iOS, you won't be able to turn off your Wi-Fi completely unless you go to your settings. But in this case, I can tap there. You can see it will turn off Wi-Fi. can tap right there again to turn it on. I have the same here for Bluetooth. I have a restart button for my device and a power off button for my device. So all of these are shortcuts, which I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. So you can go ahead and install them and quickly add them to your dock. It's not that hard to even create these by yourself, but just so that you don't have to worry about that and don't have to, sp to spend time creating them, you can just find them on the description of this video. 
Next up, I'll show you guys how to have a crazy setup for your action button if you have an iPhone that has an action button. Now, what I'm talking about here is an app called Action Made that allows you to do way more with the action button on your iPhone. Now you can see what I can do right here. If I just press the action button while the iPhone is on the portrait mode, I can go ahead and record an idea right here, tap right there once I'm done, or if I just go ahead and do this while the iPhone is on the landscape mode, you can see now I will be able to actually take a picture. So you will have different actions for different positions of your iPhone. And the way to do that is of course from this app. So you can see we have all kinds of different shortcuts right here. Some are, some are free, some are paid. Like this one right here is pretty cool. Volume button. So press the action button and then volume up to recognize music action button and then volume down to turn on or off the silent mode press the action button without pressing any other keys to activate the camera now for this to work you install the app of course link down below in the description you go ahead and add any of the shortcuts that you like from this app once you have added those all you need to do is head on to your settings app and from here just set up your action button choose shortcuts and of course tap right here and choose the shortcut you just added from the app and now you have way more features on your action button on your iPhone 15 Pro. And last but not least is a forgotten part of the home screen of your iPhone and that is the part right here where we used to have the old style widgets on iOS. But what I like to do here is add some like this. You can see here I have a ton of apps. It looks like the app library, but it's actually widgets from Siri suggested apps. So you tap the edit button and go ahead and tap the plus button and you add four shortcuts from Siri. And what it does is that it will suggest you apps based on time of the day and based on your usage of apps. And you can see I have four of the same widgets and none of them will show the exact same apps. We have all different apps on any of them. And if you see an app that you don't want to see here, you can simply tap on it and tap on don't suggest. And just like that app, basically Siri will, will replace it with another app. But you have the home screen here looking cool the toggles here the docs here right here we have the app library and here on the other side we have series suggested apps that again of course will be updated based on time and days and what you use based on your location and all that stuff of course siri will learn that from your usage and will show you the proper apps for the proper time and location that you use so that's basically it for this video guys this is how you can create this amazing setup on your iPhone it looks amazing and of course as I said it's very very fun functional you can do a lot on your iPhone with this very simple look but have a ton of features a ton of access to your apps and everything you need so that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to smash that like button of course subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one